Soul is a pioneering project for newly arrived young people to develop their English language skills through drama and the arts. The programme aims to not just increase young people's language skills, but also support their integration and build their confidence. You get one point for each word, but you get two points if the spelling is good. It's a competition. See how many words in The Creative ESOL programme is delivered by a trained ESOL practitioner and experienced drama practitioner. The young people engage in an initial taster session, then they come along to sessions after school and we operate on a termly basis where we have 10 sessions per term. The group is usually for a maximum of 15 young people and they will be mixed ages and mixed levels of proficiency in English language. <laughs> the young people that we're working with are newly arrived young people so that can be anything up to five years in the UK some of those will be young people from refugee backgrounds um, and some of those will be unaccompanied minors which means young people who are here without their families How did you feel when you first came to London? I feel upset because um, I need to make more new friends and it's difficult to do that. You're alone, you're in school, you can't manage to get friends because you're unable to communicate with them and it was like uh, being bullied in, in a different way. It's very hard because you don't know what they're saying, you don't know what they're telling you to do. So you don't understand nothing and you get hunchy and you get scared sometimes. Sometimes the students that we have, they arrive in year 10 and they don't speak any, any English at all. So we, need, we find it really difficult to withdraw them for le from lessons to offer them English support. And we're really, we're really happy to be in contact with uh, Creative ESOL because uh, it's something that we couldn't be doing. We've now established a really clear model of practice for the Creative ESOL programme and the methodology is rooted in six key principles. Those include play, spontaneity, relaxation, imagination, emotion and engaging the body. We're creating an environment where the young people have a very safe space where they feel that they can experiment with language freely and in a relaxed way and have a lot of fun at the same time. The supportive atmosphere that's built up is really important so that young people who are more proficient in speaking or writing can support um, the lower level students. When I was in year 9, I used to help students in year 7 um, by coming here and peer mentoring them, helping them to kind of speak English. And last year I was just here for learning, but now I'm a bit better because I can speak more than them, so I try to help them. I would recommend this to any academy who has a new starters coming from abroad, which is a very necessary ingredient to help them launch into speaking, which is very difficult for people who come as EAL sequential coming from another country and they have not, they don't have the syntax, they don't have the pronunciation and the vocabulary. So it's very good at developing those yeah. three things. So these adjectives, evil, rude, mean, are they size, colour or opinion? Opinion. Yeah. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay. This project offers the opportunity for the young people to look at the language, be creative with it, put a personal stamp on on it, own it, own, own the language, own their creativity and feel empowerment so that they are able to go back into their everyday lives and able to engage with other people. Each term we develop a flexible scheme of work that we uh, create in negotiation with the young people. 
at the beginning of the term, they'll identify their individual learning goals in relation to language, but also creative skills. We'll weave those into the scheme of work and we'll also choose a central creative stimulus based on the young people's interests. From that, we'll develop a kind of arc over the term where we'll weave in creative goals and also language goals. And the term will culminate in a sharing event where young people perform for their friends and family and staff from their schools. The, shop, the city was really, really big and they decided to put a shopping centre. Where it's, it's, it's funny because we, we learn English and with, with games. It's different to the class, it's not boring. It's, you can play with other people, meet other people, you can make friends and speak English. The good thing about it is that the kids might think that they are playing games all the time, but they are actually developing their confidence. And we teachers, we can see that when we are in school. Because many students who are new to English, they, they don't want to say anything in the lessons. They are shy to give an opinion or to just give an answer. So through the creative easel, they get used to being more open about things, being able to express themselves, and then they transfer that to the classroom. The young people tell me that they do feel uh, more confident when they're in class having been to the sessions over time with us um, and it's really vital for integration. Because we are very quiet in school, when we came to here, we joined here, we become very confident and being like, not that much quiet. I have noticed that uh, the students who joined this project, uh, their levels went up because they were gaining the confidence and um, it helped them. They felt like they have something special that the other students don't have, to, uh, something to go after school. Uh, and it's very focused on them and they get the attention of professional people that treat them in a very encouraging and comforting way, so they, they feel free to speak. Very good experience. You can have more friends, you can speak more, like me, look, and you can you can practice drama. Um, I like when we do drama because uh, uh, I love drama and then uh, with drama I can learn more English because you need to speak, you need to act and then I like. The drama part of it is very important because um, um, for the English GCSEs they have the speaking and listening um, and it's part of their, you know, their final grade. So it's important for them to be able to not just write about what they think or describe something, but also to be able to present information, to be able to interact with other people. I enjoy playing games, doing some drama. Yes, and uh, make friends. A lot of really good friendships and relationships have been built. A lot of different diverse groups of students actually that might not otherwise have um, kind of been together or hung out together actually really broke down those cultural barriers. It's not beautiful. We used to get a chance to meet okay. different people okay. from different yeah. schools. I think that was very, very effective because it, it meant that as, as, a, as an individual, it wasn't just you or your uh, some of your friends from the same school. It was also other people from other schools. The levels went up of the children who joined the project, like at a fast pace. So one girl, for example, came with zero English, step one in the EAL QCA scale, and she's now level four. For a, so that is a huge progress in a very little time, and I'm sure this project has uh, contributed to that uh, progress uh, in in a huge way. I can speak more English now. <laughs> you see me now. <laughs> I'm really passionate about this project, and I really believe that it works, and we do achieve the outcomes that we aim to with the young people. It's fantastic seeing the program develop, and we're really excited about expanding our provision and disseminating the model more widely in the future. I want next year and next year and next year and next year I hope. because I really like it and it really helped me a lot. I really thank you to all the teachers yeah. here because uh, they came to our school and uh, asked us to if do you want to join and yeah. to and now we are really confident to speak a lot of English. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> An amazing and incredible story that's happening around the world.
Thank you.